Hello, this is Jake, and today I have another uh, scripting sort of video. Today I have um, destructible environments. I have two different types that could work pretty well in maps. To the left we have the simple trigger-based one, which is just shooting a trigger, which causes explosion and stuff. And to the right we have the C4 pack. This one's a bit more fun. But to the left here, let's just shoot this. And boom, we exploded it up, and we can now walk in, so forth. All right. Now, to the right here, we have the C4 packed explosive. This is pretty complex, not terribly complex, just enough. So what you do is you go up to the indicator here, which is clearly shown by the yellow light and all that, and you hold RB, and there we go, we got our C4 pack, waiting for it to charge, boom, open goes the door. And we go in and, yeah, you get the point, destructible environments. So, I'm going to go, so, let's see, now that's it, so let's go see how to make it in Forge. Okay, so here we are in Forge, let's begin, let's start with the trigger-based destructible environments. First thing you want to put down is your trigger. This could be not just here, it could be... I made future grill here because I thought it was kind of fun. But you could also stick it in your wall at like precise angles that people could shoot at to make it like explode, stuff like that. Um, any sort of way, there's all sorts of creative ways you could set up your explosive operator. F it. Well, it's here. Future grill is kind of messed up now, but now. Yeah. So basically, whatever you have here. You want your trigger on destroyed with a scripting on uh, with spawn channel 10, candy spawn true, and broadcast channel 11, and place it start false, and spawn time never. Now you want that with the other trigger as well. Then for anything you want to disappear, you want to, like, anything you want to blow up, disappear, be gone, you're going to want spawn time never, it's called place it start true or yeah place it start true and then candy spawn true spawn channel 10 this will be for like anything like i don't know the lid of the future grill or your wall in this case so your wall let's see yeah in this case i actually had two walls so you could do yeah you can actually hide your little explosive mark or whatever in there but yeah now that's the same for your walls, that wall there too. Basically the stuff you want to disappear after the explosion. Let's just go on. That back in here. Then what you want to do is correspond the same broadcast channel, which is in this case broadcast channel 11, to these explosion volumes. Uh, use small invisibles because the large one's a bit too big and matters your case. But in this case, I'm using the small ones. Large ones would work out if you had a bigger thing being But yeah. And for here, you just want to put it on broadcast channel 11, duplicate it if you want a bigger explosion. Makes it look more alive. Now what you need is, in order to get your things to despawn, like when destroyed or whatever, what you're going to want to do is first have a timer on once. This needs to be on broadcast channel 10, which would correspond to the spawn channels of all this junk that you want to disappear after the explosion. It would spawn them in at the start. Then what you need is a timer off, which will need to be power channel 11, which is the broadcast channel of your triggers, and spawn channel 10. Uh, no, it's got broadcast channel 10 which corresponds to the spawn channel of this, and that would cause your stuff to disappear and boom, and all happy, destructive environments. Now here we have a bit more complex thing. Here to the right we have our C4 pack explosive. This is the type of like breach and clear status. You can find the yellow mark on the wall, plant it and blow it up. So from here what we have is, I guess let's start with the, what's it called? The overshield. The overshield's your indicator. That's like where you want to place the C4. And that'll be on spawn channel 18, candy spawn true. And it's called, and I, it's called, I believe it's place it start. Yeah, place it start false, spawn time never. 
So for this, what you want is uh, first a timer on once. The timer on once will be at the spawn channel, 18. Broadcast channel 18 would correspond to this. So timer on once, broadcast channel 18, C spawn channel 18. Then you're going to need a timer off, which will be power channel 14 and broadcast channel 8. You then what you'll need is your switch. Your switch is an on uh, a switch on, which is broadcast channel 14, which would when you turn on broadcast channel 14, that needs to be the same as this power channel, which then activates the timer to get rid of your yellow indicator once you've placed your object down. So what you want from there, let's just go down in the order. Now. You need a timer on once at broadcast channel 12. 12 should be your main explosion stuff, yeah. The walls you want blown up, that'll be 12. So you have your timer on once for that to spot it in at the start. Then you have a timer on, which is, wait, where's the, well, there's the timer. The other timer off. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Power channel 14. Broadcast channel 12, you need a timer off with a, with however, let's call it, for the, how this is set up, it has a fuse time, so make it five seconds, so the timer off goes to the wall. Once you activate the switch, its power channel activates to change the broadcast channel 12, which in five seconds will make this wall disappear. But while that wall is disappearing, you're going to need the explosion to go off. Your explosion will go off at power channel 17. So what you have here is a timer a timer on at power channel 14, broadcast channel 16, and another timer on at 16 and 17, five seconds. So, so go. basically what that does is you have this sandbag here, which is at spawn channel 16. And what this does is it basically spawns in your sandbag and then what's called five seconds later despawns it and there so I'm just gonna go down the line of all these let's see yeah your timer off 17 16 yeah, timer on 16 17 so yeah once it hits power channel 17 it turns back off 16 no getting rid of your sandbag Timer off for the thing to despawn. And yeah, I think I said everything. Just o overviewing. Uh, I'll overview it here. Timer on once. Broadcast channel 12. Timer on. Power channel 14. Broadcast channel 16. Timer on. 16, 17. Um, power channel 17. Broadcast channel 16, which is a timer off. And then timer off. Power channel 14, broadcast channel 12, time 5 seconds. And then timer off, 14, 18. And then this one should be 18, timer on once for 18. And that's all those. Your wall will be spawn channel 12, can despawn true, place it start true, spawn time never. Need to be. Broadcast channel 17 corresponds to the timers that despawn. Let's go, that's, let's go on these sandbags and stuff. Sandbag is 16, can despawn true. Place it start false. Explosive is, can despawn true, spawn channel 18, and your switch on is 14. Broadcast channel 14. So that is uh, the C4 pack. It's a bit, just a little bit more complex than the, your simple trigger explosives. You could also have a trigger and like with some fusion coils around it, so you can shoot the fusion coils, stuff like that. Because I know these aren't the prettiest object, which kind of annoys me. You could merge them into the wall, like this almost, where you have just little tiny pieces of it that you could shoot or fire, like throw grenades at like you'd have it in like this far and if you threw a grenade you could blow that trigger up and then activate your thing and there's all sorts of tricks you could do 
uh, retarded thing. Yep, yep, whatever. But yeah, this is what I have for you today. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.